Welcome back guys. I pulled those front guards off there actually. Uh, bloody clean under there. Doesn't look, it looks dirty but it's not really too bad at all. Um, pretty happy with the guards too, look. Yeah. Just a bit of a clean up and a bit of a paint. Um, right hand guard. Oh, right, man. Immaculate underneath. Spot on. This one here. Yeah. A little bit of work here, a little work there, but it's not really that bad, as bad as what I thought. I was going to get a whole bottom section, but I might just do these bits and do that section there. Um, a little bit there, that's bugger else, just a little patch really. So yeah, I'm pretty bloody happy already. Um, hopefully I'll get this motor out of here tomorrow, or during the week, or whenever. Um, you can see number three was seized in there rock solid, so I'll put some diesel and stuff down there, but yeah, I'm not going to use this motor anyway. Um, that's about how far I've done. I've actually worked out that I've got all the bits for the grill. Um, basically all I need to get is the bonnet mould and the, the two little eyebrows that go down the side of the guards here. So that's another good bonus. Um, probably get another bonnet. This one's all warped. But it's yeah, not very important, you know, you can see that dent there. Bit of a warpage there. Not too bad though. The rest of the body's all surface rust, so yeah, I'm still pretty happy. Put the back seat out. Bloody, pretty clean man. Nothing a bit of a clean up and a bit of paint won't fix up. No holes, that's the main thing, so I'm, guess, I'm hoping, I'm guessing the under the front seat's the same. Just needs a bit of a rust converter and shit on there, just a bit of a scrub and a bit of rust converter. And then yeah, I'll just paint it all black, get a little settled. And uh, yeah, I'll get onto it. Obviously I might have to... I'm going down to see this fella called Eon. Eon. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, I haven't stuffed it up for you. Nope, but I'm going to get that guard. I'll get this bit as well. That needs a bit of a... Thing, but I can always do a patch in there somehow. Um, it's not too bad. You can just see it there. Um, I'll be able to cut this section out. And hopefully replace that whole section as you can see. It's a bit hard to see. Oh, you can see the dent there. Cool. So I think old mate's going to cut it from here, across here, and then across, across there, which is fine. That's what all I need. Rear section's not too bad. Um, I might have to get into someone to help me get it so it's all lined up properly and set up properly before I weld it on there. Now this is another one, this is not going to be another show car but I do want this one to be a bit more tidier than the Ape. The Ape's just a good old driver. I actually, being a naughty boy, drove it from the front to the back and now man it shifts gears beautifully. It's, even third gear doesn't crunch now so that's pretty bloody good. Um, I'll probably register it next payday or something. With winter coming on, it's probably just going to sit in the shed most of the time. So I'm even thinking about contemplating the old uh, club rego. You know, like Tony, Tony J's got his GT registered under that thing. So yeah, I think it's. I don't know how much the club costs. I think it's about 90 bucks for 90 days a year. So yeah, I mean, I'll probably that would probably suit the ape anyway for the time being. Um, I'd like to get one of these cars as my daily car, so I don't use the BT so much. Um, yeah, still I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to come to become a good project, so... I just try to pump the spare wheel, I didn't see it just... must be full of water. So it's good water everywhere. I'm thinking about putting these wheels, painting them the same colour as the ape, and then put them, putting them on the ape with hubcaps. Um, I have to get them off and get them sandblasted and stuff obviously, but that might suit suit the ape a bit better. And then I've got those big fat mags for this, but I'll keep these mags on the ape until I'm ready. Change over. Um, yeah, I'm still pretty happy. So, I need some alabaster paint. Valiant alabaster paint, if anyone's got any floating around spare. Um, I'm just going to clean up all these spots and then seal it and then paint it. So, um, 
probably go inside the get the doors off. That's actually not too bad in there either, really. Um, check this one's like. Yeah, just basically just surface rust. So. Love the old valent. Then when I said the valent, would know the the valent door creak. Um, yeah. So yeah, I found old Charlie didn't let me down with some of the parts anyway, so most of the parts are in there for the, the grill. I'm just going to get the actual grill. Um, so yeah, look at these floors, man, they're pretty good. Boot floor will be good. I didn't see that in the, I think it was off the boot, so. Yeah, so this means sort of door handles. <coughs> Lots of wish list anyway. If anyone's got any spare bits hanging around and they don't want to charge me a fortune like most people do, let me know and I'll um, come and see you. Looking forward to seeing the young fella tomorrow and get that panel. I'll sit, have a talk to him what else he's got available for these things. Um, I'm going to take those chrome, lower chrome strips off and board up the holes, same as on the back. Um, yeah, just smooth it out. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Main thing, my main, my main thing will be getting this motor out, put another motor in, get it registered, take that motor out again, and then get in here, clean it all up, and give it a lick of paint, just so it's nice and tidy. Got some numbers here. Not sure if it's meant to have a VG in front of it, but that's all I can find. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too much hassle to get registered. I'm gonna take it down like this. Hopefully, the cops will be cool. Um, yeah, that's what's happening, guys. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this thing going. I love these shaped cars, these shaped valiants. I've been watching some other dude on Facebook with, oh, YouTube, sorry. Uh, I think it's called 70 Hemi or something. He's got a VG as well and he's hotting it up and it's only 245 and he's, he's taking the drags and having a bit of fun with it. So that's what I plan to have to do sometime. Um, yeah, just mainly get on the road first thing. Anyway, guys, that'll do. Everyone stay tuned. Thanks for the... Uh, Thanks for following the page. Leave your comments if you have any ideas or you have any bits you might think I need. You might be able to sell me for a good, good price. I'm not begging for anything, but you never know who's watching. So, yeah. Alright, stay tuned.